Welcome to Three Crosses Ferry Company. We're chewing a draft horse today. I'm super excited to get started into this one. This is a reset. And by reset, I mean we're going to take this shoe off, clean it up, and we're going to put it back on. So these shoes are really thick. They're uh, three eighths of an inch thick, and they're usually good for one or two sets. So we're going to start by cleaning out the hoof getting all that old material, dead material that needs to be exfoliated out, cleaned out. The thing I love about drafts is mostly their size. A lot of guys don't like to do them. I enjoy them. The small footed horses, however I do a lot of them, I just, it's so cool to get under one of these massive animals. So we're gonna clean out the commissures, get those opened up, get anything that's trapped underneath the frog out, make sure we've got all that dirt and manure and anything else is trapped there cleaned out. And again, we're taking, we're not, we're not cutting that frog to the point that there's nothing left. We're just cleaning it up so that it's fresh, clean, healthy frog that's left. So now we're going to run our nippers around. I've actually, this was probably one of the last sets I did on these nippers. They are about shot. I'm going to send them off to have them rebuilt. A company uh, that rebuilds them is called Rafter V. They do a really good job. So when you're running your nip line, super important. You keep the nippers flat and you try to keep your nip line flat so that it starts and ends at the same point on each heel. This way, when we come in with our rasp, we can do minimal work with the rasp. And you can see, just look at the size of that hoof wall. Again, when you look at the hoof wall, you'll see some narrow spots and some wider spots. The wider spots are the flare, and we'll address those with our rasp when we go to finish the foot. Again, running my rasp. So you want to have four points of contact. It helps the rasp stay flat and keeps the foot flat as you rasp. One of the things about draft horses that's really cool is we're using size 7 nails here. Everything's bigger. So in, in most cases, you know, you hit a nail, you tap on it once or two times, make sure it's going where it's supposed to go, and then finish it off. With these drafts, you literally just send that nail. You just drive it in. They have so much hoof wall, we're not too worried about hitting hitting live tissue because we have a half inch of hoof wall. And again, these nails are two or three sizes bigger than what I normally use. Now you'll notice I'm going to stop here. It's not quite coming out where I want it to do, so we're going to readjust it. So you'll notice that I angle this nail more than it was the last time. That's because the nail was coming out low. So I wanted it to come out high, get up in the hoof wall that's more solid. I always ring my nails off. It makes more sense to do it that way. When you ring them off, I don't like having that sharp point anywhere around as I'm driving nails. Um, seen far too many guys have accidents that way, seen them get hurt pretty bad, and I'm just not interested in being hurt that way. And we're gonna drive our last nail. Again, this is a size four draft. It's The shoe is an inch wide by three eighths thick and there's about 15 and a half to 16 inches of steel from heel to heel. And we're gonna finish the foot up, clean it up. Now I apologize here, uh, my camera was about out of memory and so I didn't get the actual clinching. I got most of the finish work, but I uh, the camera shut off and I didn't realize it until afterwards when I looked back at the footage. You'll notice when I run my raft, I'm running my raft in the same angle as the football naturally grows. 
I'm not putting a bunch of divots or bobbing the toe. Bobbing the toe is a technique where rather than rasping the foot flat and at an angle that it's natural, you just come down at a straight up and down angle and 45 the toe. And it looks terrible. It's not a good practice with these horses and can cause hoof deformity later. This what I'm doing here is called a quarter crease. I do it because it just sets that shoe and it and it cleans up any rough edges around the edge of the, the edge of the hoof and the edge of the shoe. And here, like I said, we missed the clinching part, but we're gonna put some hoof oil on this foot. And I just love the way it makes these feet look. Look at that. This is actually Horseshoer's Secret Hoof Oil, and it has uh, minerals and other things to help with hoof growth. It's one of my favorite products. I actually have a supplement that I also use with the horses. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Let us know what you think.